Right, so I've got some mailbag to do. A whole bunch of stuff here. Use a new camera. I've set it to manual focus to be about here somewhere, so I hope it's okay. And we'll see how we go. So we'll get started. I've got a few things here from my 14, it would seem. So much packaging for so little stuff. Cup caps. What are they? Some Vichet caps. I can't see what they are. That's a Sprague on there. Yeah, 150 volt. 5 UF. I think these are for the HP. Um, Something or other, I can't believe it is now. I can't believe it's called. Anyway, yeah, you'll see. Um, so, the next thing. I'll get to this thing last. For a good reason. This is RS, so it's better to be capacitor as well, isn't it? That. Let's see. Look at the end. Oh, it's not capacitors, it's something different. So my C's in there. MCP6021. I think those were low voltage dropout um, op amps, if I remember rightly. I could be wrong. Where's my invoice? Hold on. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, 2.3 volt, 10 megahertz op amp. We've also got some other ones here too. Yeah, let's get that. These are for the voltage regulator, uh, the voltage regulator. Leakage tester project. Your pants for that. So what are these? OPA 347PAG4. Apparently. Um, yep, so that's also op amp. Uh, single op amps, 5.5 volt. So those are probably both low voltage dropout ones or something like that. Okay. Another one of these. More caps. Uh, 63 volt, 22 UF. Also stuck on parts for the HP. I've got a fix. It was HP, wasn't it? Yeah, it was HP. Um, parts for that. I basically went through and saw all the caps it needed and bought, purchased them all. So we'll see what we, all like. what we get from that. And this, interestingly, let's uh, try and open this up. Carefully. Right. Thank you for that. And I don't know why there's so much packaging there anyway. Um, more caps. 68 UF, 16 volt. Right. Next thing. Soy capacitors on ice. Just capacitors, capacitors, boring. Let's see if we get something interesting. Who knows? That may happen. All these arrived on the same day, these LM14 ones. You think they just, you know, package them in the same one and send it in one go? Anyway, come on. That. And yet more caps. What are these? I have to read it off the cap. Um, 50 volt, 1 UF. Okay. I'm going to do this one last. Let's put this in here. How do I get into this thing? Mm -hmm. There's a joint there somewhere. It's probably there. 
this looks like it. Got catch. Okay, right. Two cameras. Now were those the same, I don't remember. What are these things? Uh, oh, they're different ones. Okay, so these are 1080p, um, 6mm and 3mm, 3.6mm uh, lens cameras. Get your CD with them as well. Comes a little power supply. Plus, you've got the right plug. It's amazing. And there you go. Basic little thing. Plastic body. That's all right. Uh, I don't know if these do PoE or not. Um, it has a DC jack and obviously the Ethernet there as well. I'm not quite sure if it does PoE. Um, I will have to look into it. But it's an Onverf, which means that's supported by my existing network recorder. So that's all good. Should we go down the side? Just there. It's okay. So they both be the same kind of thing, just different versions. So not going to open the other one up. Last thing. Now, this, as you can see, is from JLC PCB. And one of those little pen things. Okay, interesting. Probably seen this on uh, Julian Elliott's desk. Anyway, so I've got a arrangement with JLC PCB as many of YouTubers have been doing, um, and they've made me some circuit boards for free. Right, so these are free of charge to me. So this is obviously a commercial advertisement. And I'm going to be doing a project, as you all know, um, hopefully you all know, about doing my voltage um, leakage tester projects, right? Leakage tester for the capacitors and stuff like that. We'll use the PCBs for it. So I made designs of PCBs and uh, sent them to JLC PCB, and they have made them for me. Now, these actually arrived pretty quickly. I think they were made within a couple of days. Because um, I had a holiday as well, so a bit of a delay there because you know it was a statutory holiday or something. And um, so they made them pretty quickly. Quality looks good. So get a bit close to the camera there. Oh, focus isn't going to work, is it? Because I've got it manual fog here. So, anyway, so I have to leave it over here somewhere. So quality looks good. Um, it is what I expect it to be, also I'm going to have to make sure I've made any mistakes and that kind of thing. But the actual quality of the board looks good. Um, accuracy looks good. Yeah, it all looks absolutely fine. I can't fault it, at least. So, um, yeah, so this is a leakage test of the PCB. So I've gone ahead and made PCBs before making a prototype. Which is a bit of a silly thing to do in a way. Um, but if I'm confident that it's going to work, then what's the issue? Let's just get this a bit closer. Focus. There you go. Focused. Okay, so that's what it looks like. One side and the other side. I think it's in focus. It's hard to see on the camera. Right, but you can see it all looks absolutely fine. So what I've done is I've pulled back the ground, um, the shielding on this. So it's uh, back in focus over here. So I pulled back the shielding on this, so there's no ground plane in all the high voltage areas. As a precaution, you don't want to, you know, want to create some more separation, and isolation from this high voltage stuff. So um, yeah, that's the board. So there's a space there for an Arduino Pro Mini, op amp space there, um, jumper headers various parts, uh, voltage regulator here, high voltage caps and diodes for a multi voltage multiplier here, uh, diode network here, 
uh, diode network, resistor network um, for voltage referencing, which may or may not end up being used. But there's lots of things. I made this board to be lots of you know lots lots of options on there, so I've got different ways I can do it. I don't even need to. I may not even need all that part. I might not need this bit. I might only need this bit. I don't know yet. So um, yeah, we'll see. Here we go. So I've got ten boards there, or thereabouts. I've requested ten. There's one, three more there, three more there. Yeah, yeah. I've got one spare board. I've got eleven boards. Quite often, that's what happens when you buy boards. Is um, you usually get given some spares because you almost always make a few extras. And um, in case of any issues with bad boards, so they usually make you know one or two extra boards or, or half a dozen extra boards, and um, usually they're just given to you. So you, you know you usually get a few more boards than you actually ask for. That's quite normal, which is good. So thank you very much, JLC PCB, for those. And um, you'll see an upcoming video of me doing this project, making this board, um, doing testing on it, that kind of thing. And obviously that's all probably sponsored by. PCB as well, so it's great. So I should also explain the desk. This is what my this is actually used for my, my um, computer desk here. My other desk has currently got a 3D printer on it. There goes my email. Um, my other desk has currently got a 3D printer on it, so I can't do any video on there right now. So I'm using this desk. Um, I probably should explain that at the beginning in case you're going, what the hell is this? It's different. <laughs> so, all right, thanks for watching, and um, catch you later. Have a good one. And make sure you catch up later on for this video when I, when I do this project, because that's going to be very interesting. Right, so, a bit more mailbag, and I've got a special package right here. We'll get to that shortly. Let's get to these. These shouldn't take long. I think they're pretty basic things. So my C's not exactly wonderfully packaged, are they? You know. You want to focus on that? Yeah, anyway. So what are these things? Uh, SN74 LS157. Okay. What's next? this one? Oh, uh, don't sound right those. These are LM307 uh, op amps I think they are. 307s I think they're op amps. Yeah, pretty sure they are. Oh, cool. There's everything. Next thing here. I'm quite excited about this. Those that have been watching the channel for a little while will know what that is. Uh, there's a 74LS10N. Again, these will come back to parts I thought I might need for my HP 4261A when I was diagnosing that. And it uh, turns out, no, I didn't need those. Um, these are 74LS112AN. I don't know what those parts are. Some more the same thing, so. Stock up on ICs, I'll find use them eventually. Even though I didn't use them this time around, because I is on a, a um, turned out to be a bad flip flop. I can't remember what the part number was now. I threw it away the other day. Actually, I should have looked at it. But yeah, it's a bad flip flop anyway. Now this is a more interesting package. Let's try and get into it. It's got plenty of crap on it. Protect it. Moisture and stuff like that, which is great. I think the logo might give it away. The wrapping off would be great. Okay, here we go.
Right, what did I get? 